So it's the beginning of the boating season and I'm getting ready to launch the boat and uh, I'm here with Officer Thomas Blockwell. Thomas, tell me a little bit about what I need to be prepared for both before I put on the water and after I get on the water. The biggest thing is make sure whatever you're going to take out on the water with you and all of your equipment maintenance, everything is done prior to putting your boat in the water. So right here, we're, we're at a tie down area. It's marked on most of the ramps. So we're gonna come up and we're gonna unhook the boat, do everything with the exception of the front, load the boat, get the boater ready to go, back in, drop the boat and then pull away. Yes, just ramp courtesy, making sure that you have everything taken care of before you put your boat in the water so you're not tying up everybody else that wants to get in and enjoy the water. All right, so let's take a look around the boat before I launch it to make sure that my boat is in safe working condition. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do, of course, this is gonna be away from putting the boat in the water. This is gonna be away from the ramp itself is to remove the tie downs, the straps, anything oh, yeah. that's gonna be holding the boat to the trailer. Okay. The next thing is gonna be checking the jack on the, uh, the motor trim. Make sure that the lock, it has unlocked and the motor is able to come down from the safety position. Make sure the other strap on the other side is removed as, as well. And of course, while you're down there, make sure that the plug is in, secured, and tight. Interestingly enough, this plug is actually operated from the top side of the boat, but it's got a cable, so I need to make sure that I put it on end it's always good to give a second visual to make sure that plug is secure, and it is in. So let's walk to the front and make sure everything's got good up there. Okay. You want to make sure you undo the safety strap. Okay. From the boat to the trailer. This particular boat, it's all on one, so we're going to loosen it. Okay. And then before we launch, we'll wait till we get right to the water and we'll turn that and loose. Looks like your boat's ready to go. Make sure you have all your life jackets and looks like you're ready to go out on the water. All right, well, I know you're gonna give us a safety check on the lake here in a little while. We're gonna do a little fishing. We'll see you in a bit. Good luck to you. All right, thank you. Almost as important wearing your life jacket out here is your kill switch. I attach my kill switch usually to my life jacket. Now, for any reason I come out of this boat, obviously I got my life jacket on, but it'd be really nice if my boat is parked right there where I can swim to it and not running into the shore across the way. So, always put this on. It takes just a second, could save your life. Oh, look at that. Missed. You get it? He got one. Well, I see that you had luck right then. You've been having any luck beforehand? Caught a couple. We're fun fishing today. Got a couple bass and a crappie. Well, if you don't mind, go and get your fishing license out for me. Let me take a look at it. All right, we'll do that. Proud sportsman license owner. Good deal. All right, let's see. I see you got your life jacket on. That's good. Do you have a top four throwable? Looks like a seat cushion. I do. About that one right there. Perfect, good deal. And I see you have some other life jackets in there. Yep, you never know, you might pick up somebody. That's right, perfect. What about your fire extinguisher? You got that on you? I do, it's right here. All right, do you know how to test this, see if it's still charged? I do not. All right, what you wanna do is keep this yellow part in here. This okay. thing is kinda of like the safety pin on it. Okay. What you do is you push it away from everybody okay. to test it, push down, if it pops back up, it's still got pressure in oh, it. Oh, okay? cool, okay. That's good to know. So that I'm... one's still good. Now, All if there's right. a fire, you want to pull that yellow pin yeah. and then spray it. So that uh, replaces the dial, just the way to check it right Correct. there, Correct, right? yes. All right, that's good to know. All righty, if you mind, let me take a look at your live well real quick. All right, do that. Here we go. Good deal. Good deal. All right, now while you're right over here, let me hear your horn or whistle if you got one. All right, that's all. Uh, all right. Good luck to you. Thank you. Be safe. All right, have a good one. Thank you for wearing your life jacket. All right, appreciate that. So I'm out here today with Zach Campbell, who is the boating education coordinator for the Kentucky it, Department of Fish and Wildlife. You're with the law enforcement division. Yes, sir. Boating season's just around the corner. It's February. Tell me a little bit about what people need to know about boating safely. There's a lot of things you, you can do, especially at the beginning of the boating season. Um, like outside today, look at us. Like I'm gonna short sleeve shirt and it's sunny we're all excited you know ready to get out and go fishing but that water's still really cold 50 degree water yep 70 degrees out outside you fall in you won't last long will you exactly there's a couple of new items out that's on the market for safety water rescue the ones we're wearing right now these inflatable life jackets they were meant to be lighter more comfortable to get people that may not normally want to wear a life jacket 
to wear a life jacket. These are great for wintertime fishermen. This particular model will only go off due to water pressure. Okay. It's a hydrostatic inflatable life jacket. Okay. We trust our officers' lives with this. It's what every one of our officers wears while they're out on the water. All right. Show me some other items we got here. Now we've got this, this is pretty new. A lot of people haven't seen this before. It's called a, a rescue stick. Okay. Uh, grab that right there, you see that? Wow. It's got some weight to it. You Feels can, like I could throw this thing 50 yards or so. If yeah, be. and the cool thing about that is when it hits the water, that handle absorbs the water and it automatically inflates also. Now, let me ask you a question. Does this count as my throwable device? No, it doesn't. You still need your seat cushion. Okay, let's give it a try. What do you think? All right, let's do it. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Much larger than what I was expecting. Exa so. Yeah, exactly. You see, it's got four different handles that you can pull yourself up, hold, put it around your waist, put it behind your head. It's a pretty useful tool. All right, what else we got here? We've got an infant life jacket right here. Okay. See, it's got the head guard right here, and, and this is for 30 pounds and under, but they also have ones that 30 to 50 pounds and right. 50 to 90 pounds. All right, and all of them tell you, you want to read every life jacket prior to buying it and then prior to going on the water. You want to read inside and, tell, and it'll let you know exactly what this life jacket is good for. Yeah, if, from the infant ones to the one I'm wearing here, it, it, you have to check if it's U.S. Coast Guard approved. Mm -hmm. It will have the information for what it's, what it's used for, what it's good for, and what you shouldn't use it for, usually on the, on the manufacturer labor, label there. I got something here. As a person who's on the lake all the time, this thing here is called a puddle jumper. I get asked this question all the time, is this legal? Okay, like I said with any of the other life jackets, you're gonna wanna read the, the tag on the inside here. And if it says US Coast Guard approved, mm -hmm. and every life jacket has a weight limit for whoever's supposed to be wearing it. So if you're, if you're the proper size for the life jacket and it's US Coast Guard approved, you're good to go. All right. So these auto inflate style jackets, obviously if I fell in and I went under, it would inflate, but I can also inflate it by pulling this cord. Yes, you can. So, uh, I know a lot of people own these, but I bet very few people have actually ever set one off. They expand and get a lot bigger than people think, so. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a try, what do you think? Let's do it. All right, let's see what we got here. Ready? One. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Feel pretty safe. Feels good, huh? Yeah. So now, this thing here, this is a, it's, it's a little cold, but this thing has completely got me suspended. If you get knocked out, these are automatically gonna inflate. Not only that, they're going to turn you around face up so that your head's out of the water and you can still breathe. Right. Well, Zach, I appreciate you coming out and showing us these. I know that your goal and the agency's goal for the Department of Fish and Wildlife is to eliminate as much as we can boater fatalities and injuries. Yes, sir. Wearing life jackets is the number one best step. Definitely. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it, Chad. Thanks.